Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. In the last episode, we got a Charmander, we went back to the Slumbering Wheel, we fought Hop, and we met two douchebags. <laughs> and uh, I battled one, I got the Rusted Shield back, and then Hop lost his battle to the other one, and they took off with the uh, Rusted Sword. So now I have to head over to Wedgehurst. I had to go heal up real quick because I didn't get healed up after those battles. Uh, Wedgehurst. Let's just fly over there real quick. We have to go to the, uh, Pokemon Lab that's here. And meet up with Sonya. And figure out where those two douchebags went. <laughs> hmm. Professor Sonya, you have a visitor. Hey, Mark. Glad you're here. You got an assistant? Spot on. I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Oh, wow. I'm sure Bede won't come try to steal those. <laughs> things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing all that much. You're Mark, the champion, right? I'm really glad I got to meet you. It's an honor, truly. It's nice to meet you, too. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Okay. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Uh, exactly. Follow the readings from the power spot detector and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. <laughs> See, even she thinks they're weird. <laughs> Swordward and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? <laughs> Let's get back on topic, though. I placed power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> power, spot, uh, power spot detectors access. Uh. Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh. Turfield. So I guess we're going to Turfield. Well, it's been a while since we've been there, so... That's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus. You already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those Sword and Shield weirdos. You should go check it out, Mark, since you're our snazzy new champion and all. I've set up your town map to show where the strong particle reactions are coming from. So, have a look at that. All right, time to head out. Again, I have no idea how long the post-game stuff is, but I'm enjoying this so far. Hopefully you guys are too. Let's head on over to Turfield and see what's going on over here. God, it feels like it's been forever since I've been to this town. Hey, it's these two. You're... Hello there, champion. So you came. It's been a while. How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Piers. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. What Pokemon is it? Got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. I'd expect nothing less from a gym challenger I knew we could count on. You. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, uh, Mark. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, uh, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. 
Those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad for you to help against such a tough looking opponent, Champion Mark. Of course. Alright, then let's head to the pitch. I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit miffed they upstaged me. <laughs> you come too, bro, the old champion. Wait, are all four of us gonna take this thing on? Cool. I don't know how much I can really help. You gotta get out of your own head, dude. Come on. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon would be all lost about this. Though he does get <laughs> actually lost a lot. You coming? Uh, okay. Piers might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. Alright, we should get going too. Can I figure out what Pokemon... Okay, never mind. Oh. I'm not sure which Pokemon is at the front of my party right now. Oh, it's Cinnabon. Perfect. Let's just kick the crap out of this thing real quick. How strong is... Oh, okay. Well, it's not going to hurt me anymore, so I might as well just do that. Time to get big. My god, he's a tall one. Max player. Oh, you survived, huh? You gonna put up a shield now? Throw chop. Nice. Slam. Uh, oh, that's not gonna help. That will not help Hop's <laughs> mindset right now. Missing moves. Apple acid. Yeah, it's not gonna do much. Ooh, Lord Specialty. He didn't put up a shield, so. I wonder if I have to catch this thing. Or if it's just gonna. Oh! And you I'll well, use revive. Phew, looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. <laughs> I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Pierce. He's basically uh, some of the audience that don't like it, huh? <laughs> but there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax ban in order to Dynamax, but... Seems there was some discord in the harmony between Trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Mark? Hmm. There was something weird about it. So you noticed something was off, too. There's no Trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Turfield Jim takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Mark, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. Milo's rare lead card? Cool. Alright then, follow me. Little... Hey, you. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. The champion as expected. It's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give that rusted sword. Why are you behind the desk? <laughs> well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff sh should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. 
Especially to your hair, dude. How the hell is it doing that? <laughs> yes. That's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who is this ruffian to question us? We're just someone with strange tastes and hairstyles. <laughs> You're making fun of his hairstyle? Well, I mean, it is kind of weird, but still. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? He think I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you. But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try the Dynamax and even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last we shall reveal the true nature of Zaxian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zaxian and Zamazenta? You despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid looking bottoms. <laughs> God, he did not just say that. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you were the ones who caused all this. Stop. Calm down, Hop. You don't gotta act so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still. Fine, you're right. I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And that they plan to continue doing it. Yeah. This is no time to be hung up on getting back the rusted sword. Mark Pierce, we've got to stop those two. I like that we're hanging out with Pierce a lot more. <laughs> How are those two making Pokemon Dynamax without any Dynamax bands? Where would these red and blue buffoons have gone off to next? Let's head out and look. Well, there's a good chance that they'll show up if I do this. Just look around. Huh. Well, they don't... Oh, I have to head outside. Ah, there you are, Mark. Things are right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galar particle count around Turfield had calmed down, I started getting huge Galar particle readings from Hellbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? <laughs> exaggerate? <laughs> Why would I exaggerate it? What, a Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Those sword and shield weirdos did it. Oh, Sonya. Hop and Pierce? Pierce, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spike Mouth? I'm an ex-gym leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums. Yes, I'm getting the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. A Spike Mouth gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Hol Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Mark? Hmm. Let's head to one of the stadiums. That's the spirit champion. Leave those sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the research into this, uh, Sonya, was it? We should get to the other stadiums and help out. Alright. We should head to Holbury first. More than likely, there's going to be a water Pokemon here, so I should switch out Cinnabons for Spark Pub. This could be a great chance to actually bring back older Pokemon as well. Oops. <laughs> Which I'll probably do after this. Spark Pub can probably handle this area. I think we'll do this one and then we'll end off and we'll do the next one in the next episode. Hello, Nessa. Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Are the staff and spectators all right? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. <laughs> Leave us alone. We came here to help you out. And I'm grateful for it. 
That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I feel a lot more confident about it if you all join the battle. Let's do it. Alright, which Pokemon is it this time? Oh, a Garrett Well, this is perfect for Sparkle. This should be over pretty quick. Intimidate. Great. Well, while I Dynamax my Pokemon, I would like to thank everybody for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, more than likely, there's probably going to be a cutscene after this. Those sword and shield weirdos are probably going to show up again. Let's see. Might be able to knock this out with one hit. I mean, it is a water flying type. Oh, pretty close. Hop, you should be able to knock this thing out with yours. If you use the right move. Oh, Max Geyser. That shouldn't... Holy crap, that did a lot. Throw chop. Drum beating. Yep, see ya. Hey, we did it. Gyarados is back to normal. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt and we were able to turn the tide on the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Holbury Stadium until it can fully recover. Mark, if you ever need my help, just let me know. Sweet. Thanks, Nessa. I suppose I'll see you later, then. Thank you so much for your help, truly. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. Come on back when we uh, head to Motostoke Stadium. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.